Creating environmental graphics is the closest graphic designers will come to being architects. Sometimes these graphics work with the environment around them, and other times they aren't concerned with the environment at all. What sets apart environmental graphics from the rest of design is that it communicates through physical space. People walk into your design. Look at the chocolate dripping from the walls here. This boutique in Singapore sells over 100 flavors of chocolate. This space would probably feel too sterile if the chocolate wasn't on the walls there. It reminds people to indulge. With a fun subject matter like chocolate, you have a license to get away with stuff like this. A hospital is a scary place for kids. The wall graphics here are designed to help kids feel a little bit safer. Each floor has its own theme. For the kids, it's like bringing a little bit of Disneyland into this place that has lots of machines and activity and strangers coming and going. In a place that feels like it was built for adults, the graphics acknowledge the needs of the kids. The New York Times building was built with these white ceramic rods which deflect light for occupants in the building. They're on all sides of the building and on every floor. When it came time to create signage for the building, Pentagram wanted to make sure that they honored the intent of the original architect who wanted the ceramic rods there. So they made a facade that hangs off the building, but still feels very much part of it at the same time. The scale of the Times logo matches the cultural significance of the newspaper. Or depending on your political views, you might say they're overcompensating. These signs are great. Usually do not poop signs like this have an aggressive tone and they say things like, no dogs allowed on grass. But this one takes a different approach. Good graphic designers don't just think about how to say something. They also consider how it will be received by the audience. Here they thought the best way to be heard was to be funny. They use humor as an entry point into this larger conversation about dog poop. Because they're so nice about it, I would bet that the dog pooping incidents decreased since the signs were installed. This display shows a live stream of apps being installed all over the world. It was designed to show the success of Apple's App Store. The icons slowly fall from the top of the screen and stack up over time. Unlike everything we've seen so far, this installation isn't really concerned with the environment around it but it does use scale well as a device. Standing in front of this thing, being physically dwarfed by it, has a greater impact than seeing the same information on a computer screen in your office. Also, just the act of choosing to display this data like this out in public leads the viewer to think it's important. This was a temporary barricade put up while the museum was being renovated. There's no doubt about which way you're supposed to enter the building during construction. This last example is sort of a mix of advertising and environmental design. Usually advertising is meant to interrupt people, but this doesn't obstruct anyone. The message doesn't shout at you like a billboard. It draws you in instead.